people and five and thirty years ago, right? A very well-known essay by Charles Lamb. I hope all of you must have studied. School, college, la kandi pa the parichurpon. In fact, ongo kurte essay la naal me vande allarum parichurpon, right? So if you connect with that, there are Lamb or seven to eight essays, which everyone must have studied. If you are not studied, no problem. You can go back, and it's very simple essay, right? Christ Hospital, five and thirty years ago, but it's a long essay, yeah, right? So in this essay, actually, you know, uh, Charles Lamb talks about his school life. He describes his school life. There are two essays concerning this, okay, right? In one essay, he described about. is you know the good experiences of is a school life got it okay in another essay previous essay as it is, as it is given you can see recollections of christ hospital adula vandu only nalla vishayatha solirpar seriya christ hospital that is recollections of christ hospital only good things he you know he he did that and i think that was published in 1818 okay 1818 you know that was the you know he published it but in this essay he talks about the negative characteristics of the school drawbacks of the school right and another most important aspect you should never forget it forever this essay is written from the perspective of cold ridge okay appa elia vande inge charles lamb illa in the essay la elia vande st cold ridge right appa st cold ridge vande in the essay la eppadi eldrarna charles e imagine pannikkararu charles lamb in the elia perspective of elia elia vande in the edathla cold ridge our he imagines that on the previous essay la charles lamb talked about only the good things about the school yeah but i am going to hear he is going to talk about the bad things drawbacks of the school right those five years which is spent between 1782 and 1789 in that christ hospital the famous school right hospital na hospital nu use kareenga okay on the time hospital na ellame irukum seriya it was started by edward 7 uh, edward 6 okay on 1553 la charles uh, henry 8 oda son right so here he talks about that so the perspective of it is written from the perspective of cold ridge cold ridge adha paatha eppadi paathirpar the whole essay vandu cold ridge vandu charles uh, charles lamb vandu elia perspective la elia la vandu inniki yaar cold ridge cold ridge paakkaraaru charles lamb eppadi irundaaru namma eppadi irundhom engalukku eppadi saapadu kodutaanga avangalukku eppadi saapadu kodutaanga enna enna difficulty face pannaanga school eppadi irundhuchu school la location enga enga ponom enna enna river la kulikka ponom kulichu point vandhadukapra saapadukku enna enna kadaichu saapadu kadaichaa kadikkilaya hostel la mess la illa irukra matrons e saapidutaangala right appra and the school oda rendu master pathi describe pannuvar kadaisila adukku mode he will describe about you know some funny incident okay the school monitor appra or student vandu eppadi saapadala night la eduthu povan and the incident innortha vandu hostel avanoda hostel pinnadi marath kile or kudreya kaldeya valapa and the mari so many incidents in the in the whole essay like he talks about okay with a very detailed example of what type of food was given etc etc right so this whole essay is about from the perspective of Uh, cold ridge okay st cold ridge so here elia takes the form of cold ridge and appa like appa avaru vandu charles lamb eppadi paakkarar valkey appa lamb e patti lamb so critical a irkar par avanga valk avare avar valkey e cold ridge paatha eppadi paathirpaaru andha mari s eldna s okay so that is the one so here remember that so that is the christ hospital and 5 and 30 years ago right so now you can imagine that 5 and 30 years na 35 years ago right 35 years ago இதல படிச்சாங்க அப்ப எப்ப இந்த எஸ் எழுதிப்பாங்க ரைட் யூ கவுண்ட் இட் 89 1789 னா அங்க ஒரு 11 வருஷம் 11 ல இருந்து இங்க ஆட் பண்ணிக்கிங்க யா இங்க ஒரு 26 இயர்ஸ் வேணா ஆட் பண்ணிக்கிங்க மேபி 18 26 27 போல எழுதிப்பலாம் சரியா சோ தி செகண்ட் எடிஷன் ஆஃப் இந்த எஸ் ல இட் வாஸ் பப்ளிஷ்ட் ரைட் சோ ஹி டிஸ்கிரைப்ஸ் தோஸ் 35 இயர்ஸ் எகோ தி 5 இயர்ஸ் बिटवीन 1782 டு 89 right at the time ling hunt was his classmate and coldridge was his smart classmate and coldridge was a very close one so the essay was written from that perspective right okay so keeping this is the introduction keeping this in mind let's look at the text yeah in mr lamb's works published a year or two since i find a magnificent eulogy on my old school and what is the old school that that eulogy eulogy in a praise okay magnificent the great praise grand praise he says yeah on my old school that is christ hospital and the first praise end up edile pannirkaru recollections of christ hospital written in 1818 seriya yeah so here elia impersonates 
Coldridge in the SC, yeah, ST Coldridge. As such, it was or now appears to him to have been between the years 1782 and 89. It happens very oddly that my own standing at Christ was nearly corresponding with this. And with all gratitude to him for his enthusiasm for the cloisters, I think he has contrived to bring together whatever can be said in praise of them, dropping all the other side of argument most ingeniously. Yeah. So here he says that. So I am. I was also a contemporary, right? Okay. As such, it was now appears to him to have been between 1782 to 89. It happens very oddly that my own understanding here, the own understanding is Elia's understanding. Elia is here, S.T. Coldy. Yeah. He says that I was also a corresponding. I was also a student at the time. Yeah. And my understanding of those seven years, you know, seven years, how many years? Yeah. Seven years of, you know, Christ Hospital is entirely different from what, uh, um, you know, Charles Lamb has described. Okay, it seems that Charles Lamb has described only the good things. Okay, he, he, he only praised that. Okay, whatever the good things, you know, in that way he manipulated and he presented to you, but dropping all the other side of argument most ingeniously and very, you know, very, very, very beautifully, very ingeniously with a new new method and new technique. Although the bad aspects of the drop pantare, he did not even talk about that. It happens very oddly that my own standing at Christ was nearly corresponding with his, with his now, with Charles Lamb. And with all gratitude to him, he's thanking him for his enthusiasm. He says that the, I, I have to thank him for describing everything in that way. I think he has contrived to bring together whatever he can be said in praise of them. Praise of them means all the good things about the school. Dropping all the other side of argument most ingeniously. Okay? Yeah. And this, this is a... Okay, my old school, right? My old school order, footnote Kurtur Ganga, Recollections of Christ Hospital, the first essay which was published, okay, in which we find the good things about the school, right? I remember L at school and can well recollect that he has some peculiar advantage which I and others of his school fellow had not. His friends lived in town and were near at hand and he had the privilege of going to see them almost as often as he wished through some invidious distinction which was denied to us. The present worthy sub treasure to the inner temple can explain how that happened. He had his tea and hot rolls in morning while we were battering upon a quarter of a penny loaf. Our crug moistured with attenuated beer, small beer in wooden pickings, a smacking of a pitched leather jacket, lethal jacket it was put from. Our Monday milk pottage, blue and tasteless, and the peace, to, uh, peace soup of Saturday, coarse and choking, were enriched for him with a slice of extraordinary bread and butter from the hot loaf of temple. The Wednesday mess of millet, somewhat less repugnant, we had three banyan to four meat a day in the week, had endeared to our palate with a lump of double refined and a smack of ginger to make it go down the more gullible or the fragrant cinnamon. In lieu of our half-baked Sundays or quite fresh boiled beef on Thursdays, strong as caro equina, with a detestable marigold floating in pale to poison the broth, our scanty mutton cracks on Friday and rather on more severely but grudging portions of the same flesh, rotten roasted, okay, or rare on the Tuesdays, the only dish which excited our appetite and disappointed our stomach in almost equal proportion, he had his hot plate of roast veal, or more tempting, griskin, exotic, unknown to our palate, right? Cooked in a paternal kitchen of great, paternal kitchen, a great thing, and bought to him daily by his maid or aunt, yeah? So we'll see to that, right? Let's, okay. Now you can see that. So the... This very first stanza he described that how what are the diff you know advantages Charles Lamb had in that school, right? So first begin he begins with describing the food. Yeah. And the hostel best led Charles Lamb one day, he had a very peculiar advantage. Yadakaga, he explains the reasons and what type of food was given to him and to us. That is cold rich and Yungal Kala Yandamari food Kurtanga. Ivari Yandamari food sapkara Charles Lamb. Yeah. Each day, day wise, in a food, the detail explained. Yeah, that is all about that. Let's look at 
I remember L at school, yeah, and can well recollect that he had some peculiar advantage which I and others of the school fellow had not, right? His friend lived in town and were near at hand, and he had the privilege of going to them see, yeah, see them almost as often he wished through some invidious, invidious distinction which was denied to us. Okay, so he says that I remember Charles Lamb at school, yeah, and as as much as I can recollect that. compared to all other boys he had a peculiar advantage right because uh, which i and other that is st coldridge me i myself and others we did not have that advantage all our school friends his friends lived in town yeah that is charles lamb's friend lived in town and they were by nearby only charles lamb would friends ellame nearby and andanga seriya and he had a peculiar advantage of going to see them often yeah whenever he wanted right unlike us you know you imagine a hostel life you know invariably they won't send you in hostel life you know once in a month to once in a two months only but charles lamb had a peculiar advantage whenever he wanted he could go and meet his friends and those friends knew lived in nearby towns yeah and he did not know he says that i did not know yeah how he used to he had the privilege of going and meeting them in why the and he says that as almost often as he wished through some in why this distinction which was denied to us in why this distinction na privilege which was not given to other boys okay when the distinction this privilege was given this benefit was given only to charles lamb but not to us okay right so all others were not allowed right all others were allowed only once in a month or twice but this boy that is charles lamb often he wanted whenever he wanted he can go to the go to the nearby town and meet his friends okay the present worthy yeah sub treasure to the inner temple can explain how that happened right he says that the present worthy right sub treasure referring to you know he says that uh, the present man you know it must you know it, it must be the allusion to randall norris okay the present sub treasure na and the manager maybe the chief manager of the hostel right he says that the present and the man one the this man is present in the inner temple yeah the inner temple is a, you know this a kind of a high court yeah inner temple right anga da irkar ipa right the present worthy sub treasurer what is his name randall norris r a n d a l randall norris right avatta keta theriyum he only he should explain how that happened right so mr randall norris was at the time maybe in charge of the hostel he says that the presently he is a sub treasurer in inner temple inner temple one the at the time like a high court high court where judges and lawyers they used to meet okay they used to stay there and practice okay ninga or court mari imagine pannikenga okay where they would meet and they would permanently permanently stay there seriya so inner temple and the inner temple la one of the important attorney ku assistant ah of charles lamb oda father irundar okay maybe adanal da the influence in, so he says that how charles lamb used this influence okay so look at that charles charles lamb in the sc eldrar in the name of elia imagining that cold ridge and other boys na enjoy panna time eppadi paathirupanga nu he himself is so critical seriya right avare imagine pannikkarar enoda first sc la avar vandu only good thing da pesnaaru in the sale la vandu bad things kuda pesla there are so many things happen first is starting with charles lamb himself yeah enna an advantage he enjoyed right starting with friends poi paakradhu rendavathu what type of food next yeah so this worthy sub treasurer is ron randall norris a close friend of lambs yeah he had his tea and hot rolls in a morning yeah why we were battering upon one quarter of a penny loaf right he said that the early morning charles lamb was given hot rolls yeah hot rolls now you know small loaves for breakfast okay right and tea yeah and hot rolls could you imagine panninga edacho vegetable roll rolls mari imagine panninga on the other hand right we were battering upon quarter of a penny loaf yeah we were given very or 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 very a big bread piece eh? very small piece of only quarter of that was given to us and the cost of that loaf the bread piece was very small okay very penny hardly a penny yeah our clug moistured our clug moistured with attenuated small beer attenuated means you know diluted seriya clug na vand you know what is given for a kind of a you know low quality bread that's the slang word actually used okay clug na low quality bread with charles lamb you know uses this word right Def referring to that 
how you know low quality of bread given to us adu konjam da beer kudupanga adu low quality of beer beer vand diluted beer okay attenuated uh, attenuated small beer in wooden piggins yeah in wooden endha mari cup la kudutanga wooden wooden piggins small small cup wooden piggins right weak beer okay weak beer na beer oda real taste illa seriya right namoorla tea mari avanga beer invariably beer saapuvaanga okay right you can imagine that okay so very common diet food okay beer and wine right so it says that and the beer dilute panna beer da engalukku right adum kaanju pona bread nu yosikkalam right very low quality bread okay half even penny kuda varadu right or quarter of a penny yeah small wooden book and smacking of a pitched leathern jacket it was poured from and or a jacket okay the cup the, the so called you know the saucer or cup yerlinda adla oothnaangalo adu vandu romba low quality okay adoda wooden vandu romba you know romba kai teenju pona kaanju pona andha mari ulladu okay right leathern jacket okay the, the jacket itself was the pitcher okay the and the and the, the cup la oothi kudukra and the wooden wooden piggins la oothra and the quality itself is very cheap one yeah compared to charles lamb avarku enna kudutanga hot tea hot rolls and tea but for us this is what was given to us yeah generally this is we starts with that okay the morning one then it talks about our monday milk porridge blue and tasteless and pea soup on of saturday yeah right coarse and choking were enriched for him with a slice of extraordinary bread and butter from the hot loaf of temple yeah right he says that our monday milk the porridge which is given to us maybe you could imagine like oats okay and the you know nam oats na nam oorla right kalin yoschunga and mari seriya blue and tasteless and pea soup of 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 saturday yeah and the soup pea soup was given to us on saturday right coarse and choking were enriched for him with a slice of extraordinary bread on the other hand for him yeah for him Uh, it was enriched with extraordinary bread and butter right when the same thing was given to him with the extra bread and butter butter right from a hot loaf and from where he was given to the him it was given to him it used to come from the temple right the inner temple yeah the nearby inner temple temple like the lawyer's residence angirundu special a extraordinary bread and butter vandu ivarku right தனியா வரும் சரியா on the other hand நம்மளுக்கு வந்து ஒண்ணுமே இல்லாம lowest quality உள்ள soup and porridge were given on these days the wednesday mess of millet somewhat less repugnant yeah millet na ungalku theriyum the wednesday mess he says that right we had three banyan to four meat days in a week right it was less you know repugnant he says the whatever the millet soup was given to them on wednesday yeah and how many banyans three banyan banyan na enna theriyumla banyan na and i think walapalo okay so the three banyan or to four meat days in week yeah right so that is what you know given to them was endeared to his palate with a lump of double refined and smack of a ginger yeah on the other hand what was given to him yeah right and for him we had three banyans to four meat days in a week right was endeared to his palate with a lump of double refined and a smack of a ginger for him double refined pannadu with a taste of a ginger yeah so that avaru saapda illa very easy a avaroda kalthil rendu poirnum apdiye kashtapadama saaptunu to make it go down more gullible or a fragment cinnamon right so either ginger oda taste oda illati cinnamon taste oda yeah you know that ginger and cinnamon do not right with this toast right double refined na double sugar coated okay double sugar coated oda this the way it was given to him got it nammalku kudutha sama saapdave mudiyad but compared to other time wednesday's millet vandu less repugnant which it completely hate panna mudiyad compared to other days it was better got it and only yeah how many days only four days we had meat and three banyan only got it on the other hand he had a double refined double sugar coated with the taste of ginger or cinnamon 
in lieu of our half pickled sundays right in lieu of our half pickled sunday he says that on sundays right he says that in in what is given to us on sundays and what is given to him on those days right in place of our half pickled sundays or quite fresh boiled beef on thursday yeah so half pickled sundays means you know even uh, you know the half day food in that sense or thursdays la boiled beef yeah fresh boiled beef yeah strong as caro equinas this is the latin word he uses caro equinas means means you know it is caro means you know horse okay horse sort of flesh you know fresh fresh meat horse meat got it okay so he says that on thursdays it was given or quite fresh boiled beef on thursday it was equivalent to that of strong like a fresh hot meat with digestible marigold floating on the pail of poison the broth i was scanty mutton cracks on friday yeah and he says that this you know this taste was quite detestable namala saapadave mudiyadu yeah and marigold would float on that soup okay right pale to poison the broth i was scanty mutton cracks on friday and whatever the mutton cracks mutton cracks na mutton uh, mutton oda piece yeah mutton oda lowest quality of piece and rather more savory but grudging portions of the same flesh rotten roasted or rare on the tuesdays yeah or sometimes the same kind of a food mutton oda veena pona edam piece irukla we don't know exactly maybe end the portion alla taste irukadu nalla irukadu adu right and the portion or portions of the same flesh rotten roast or rare on tuesdays and idellame grudgingly without any interest it was given to them and only dish which excited our appetite and disappointment our stomach is almost proportion he says right when it was given to them that uh, you know the rotten roasted or sometimes very rarely way they used to provide this mutton cracks on tuesday though adu pudikada yeah taste um pudikada and the stomach you know romba adu pannirum yeah but as far as you know at least konja saapradhukku nalla irukum right okay and disappointed our stomach in almost equal proportion he had his heart so compared to this engalukku idella kudutanga yeah even boiled beef oda piece kudutanga ana paakradhukku ad eppadi irukuma paakradhukku horse oda fresh okay horse oda strong as caro equina meaning horse oda fresh mariye theriyum right but on the other hand he had his hot plate of most roasted veal yeah avar enna kudutanga he had a roasted veal yeah veal na na maan curry seriya right roasted veal and or more tempting griskin yeah or more tempting griskin griskin na panniyoda curry panniyoda nalla taste ana portion oda curry maybe panniyoda kaal irukla romba taste ah irukuma seriya griskin na right panni irukla hog another word is for panni is you know the back side of hog okay back side of uh, pig okay back side of pig out of and the thigh is like legs other than yeah there are portions you know which is would be very tasty yeah and he says that more tempting griskin and he says that it was exotic unknown to our palate he says that nama walkeyle indha mari saaptadilla exotic idu or foreign food mari we were never given that to our palate na avaroda nammaloda you know nammaloda tongue kaga exotic unknown to our palate cooked in a maternal kitchen yeah and idella yaar kudutanga namma vandu hostel indha mari preceding line la sonna mari saapada namma saaptidundom avarkaga edhu onnu illati roasted veal illati tempting you know very tempting or romba pudichathu griskin yeah adu vandu paternal kitchen right avaroda family kitchen oda ange irundhu samach right own veet la irundhu right that is maybe referring to his aunt okay aunt hetty avanga veetla samachu and wits wits sapada panni yaar kondu varuva either maid kondu varuvaanga illati avangaloda aunt lamb oda aunt hetty would often bring okay right so this one example he says that right got it he says that this was the you know a dish we never tasted we could never tasted such dish yeah and for charles lamb this was the dish was given to him and prepared and often they used to bring you know almost daily by his maid or aunt okay next i remember the good old relative in whom love forbade pride 
equating down upon some odd stone in by nook or nook of the cloister disclosing the viands of a higher regale than those cates which had raven ministered to the tishpite and the contending passion of l at unfolding there was love for the bringer shame for the thing bought and manner of its bringing sympathy for those who were too many to share in it and at top of all hunger eldest strongest of all the passions predominant breaking down the stony fences of shame and awkwardness and troubling over consciousness right now he describes that yeah uh, ilia that is st coldridge ilia describes yeah how charles and reacted to that sometime when in the mari special food ala kondu varaila how he took it okay yeah so in the preceding line he says that you know how lamb for special food was born to buy lambs aunt ahetty yeah right there's another famous essay you know which he wrote right on his aunt's death yeah i think remember the lines written on the day of my aunt's death okay aunt hetty how she got now he says the next one how he must have you know must have reacted to this yeah i remember the old old relative whom love forbid pride equating down upon some old odd stone in a by nook corner uh, by nook of the cloister disclosing the viands right he says that now there is a biblical you know biblical quote okay it is taken from you know this example of you know of higher regale than those kids which the ravens minister to the dish bite yeah this is actually taken from old testament of the bible okay uh, chapter 1 of kings yeah kings chapter yeah chapter 1 1 kings yeah i think uh, uh, chapter and paragraph 16 line 1 to 6 he says that Uh, it is referring to the king of eliha eliha okay eliha and his you know food yeah that is in that you know there is a reference that allusion is that how the ravens brought him bread and fresh in the morning and bread and fresh in the evening yeah right okay this adoda translation na the biblical line order got it appa eppadi ravens vandu raven la ungalku theriyum the bird okay how they brought different kind of fresh right okay to the elija okay e l i g e h okay tishbat tishbat tishbite is the another name for elija okay from the the king chapter 1 of king e l i g e h right so he says that how ravens brought food for him in the same way he compares that of you know avang aunt kondu vanda saapad vande ravens vande elija kondu vanda roda better and the mari or reference kudukraru yeah right okay and in the mari saapada entu varra illa what type of ram eppadi embarrassment feel pannar okay he says that stone by no cluster destroying the viands and the contending passion of l at the unfolding contending passion means the reaction of charles lamb right okay yeah so how you know the giving the biblical image that how the ravens bought that kind of a special food to elija in the same year aunt bought very special food to him and how charles lamb described you know contending passion how he described that yeah how we felt that or embarrassing yeah ellarume priya ordinary kanji ponna saapada saaptirukkal indha mari special saapada varaila the embarrassment which charles lamb felt adu solraru there was a love for the bringer yeah yaar kondu vandaangalo nalla hanbu irundhuchu right maybe aunt hetty or, or you know the maid okay right shame for the thing bought yeah same for the thing enna kondu vandanga yeah adu or embarrassment right ellarume idu saapranga enak mattu special saapad kondu vandiruken go shame for the thing and the manner of its bringing and the manner eppadi kondu vandanga because of the influence of his father right his father was a assistant to the attorney okay and because of that lot uh, at inner temple lende indha mari special saapad varum ena avanga pakkathula irundanga okay maybe you could imagine right maybe 1 km irundirupanga right cost hospital la yeah adanal week la inda special saapad appa varum adu or example kuduthu solraru so how lamb felt embarrassment right there was a love for the bringer that is the aunt you know love, love for his aunt the embarrassment he felt yeah got it and she bought a very good food but he has to eat it alone yeah sympathy for those who were too many to share yeah now very limited number of saapad kondu vandirukanga but he has to share with share with everyone yeah he, but he cannot he cannot, cannot share yeah right he can't share with the other boy right at the top of all hunger right even if he wants to share how can he share he says right there was a topmost hunger hunger avula pasi irukkaila yaarku share pandrathu 
hunger eldest strongest of all passion human being got a passion the most important and you know the strongest passion is hunger predominantly breaking down the stony fences of shame yeah it is like hunger avula irukke illa the so called same awkwardness and ellarum paakrangale and the embarrassment ella odachirum the stones of such you know the fences stone fences of shame awkwardness and trouble idu ellathi and the passion irukla patni patti patni saapradhukku okay the hunger the primal passion what we call primal passion you know in that sense you know how it stops them and how he starts eating yeah because after all you know hunger is a very big passion so in this line he says that how finally lamb overcame the embarrassment and feeling for the other boys yeah and how he overcame out of that right so this is the one he says that comparing that of the food which was brought here and here the comparing this two with the biblical image of the food brought to by yeah elisha okay the, the ravens brought you know good uh, bread and fresh to him yeah that is what he says that it is a higher regal than those a cates which ravens ministered to the despite yeah that is he says that compared to the this example allusion king sort of example inge konna vanda saapad vandu inno taste okay great taste he says yeah and the last concluding para he says that of this this passage he says that how you know lamb must have felt embarrassment okay there was a love for the person who bought that is aunt hetty yeah he had all the love but at the same time he felt embarrassed that he was not able to share all the food with this classmate okay right and but at the same time hunger was there there was so much of hunger right forgetting about is you know hunger embarrassment and he had to eat it alone he finally overcomes that and he eats it okay right but we can feel that right we can see that you know the embarrassing situation of charles lamb got it next i was a poor friendless boy my parents and those we should care for me were far away those few acquaintances of theirs which which could reckon upon being kind to me in the great city after a little forced notice which they had to grace to take me off on my first arrival in town soon grew tired of my holiday visits right they seemed to me to them to recur too often though i i thought them few enough and one after another they all failed me and i felt myself alone among 600 playmates it's a very beautiful example he says that or the hostel pona avanga sondakaravanga first eppadi oru oru varam rendu varam sandoshama koopuvaanga adukapram bore adichirum adukapram nanapanga enna ivan ella saturday sunday vandranane inge right appra eppadi avanga avoid pannuvaanga okay it's a very typical example 200 varsham kaamichirukkar human nature innikku appra dhaan irupanga neenga irundirupeenga neengale feel pannirupeenga right ஓகே நம்ம போய் ஒரு ஊர்ல ஹாஸ்டல்னா சொந்தக்கார வீட்டுக்கு ஒரு நாள் ஓகே அடுத்த சண்டே ஓகே மூணாவது சண்டே ஓகே அதுக்கப்புறம் என்ன நடக்கும் அதே தான் வெரி சிம்பிள் வெரி சிம்பிள் லாங்குவேஜ் இட் இஸ் கிரைப் ஐ வாஸ் எ புவர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்லெஸ் பாய் ஹியர் இட் இஸ் கால்ட் கோல்ட் ரிச் ஓகே யா இட் சேஸ் தட் எலியா ஹேட் நோ ஃப்ரெண்ட் கோல்ட் ரிச் நீங்க எக்ஸ்பிளிசிட்லி யூ ஷுட் நாட் மென்ஷன் கோல்ட் கோல்ட் ரிச் ஓகே ஹியர் ஹியர் எலியா இம்பர்சனேட்ஸ் கோல்ட் ரிச் கோல்ட் ரிச் பர்சனா சரியா அதுக்குன்னு திஸ் இஸ் ஒன் ஒன்ஸ் நீங்க தெரிஞ்சுக்கணும் அவ்வளவுதான் but he and my assume pannikana elia is here not charles lamb elia is cold rich just a cold rich okay but must you must use the word elia don't don't use the word uh, st cold rich okay assume that it's a perspective perspective of uh, st cold rich i was a poor friendless boy he says that he had no friends in town yeah my parents and those who should care for me were far away all his people those who were acquaintances those who would care for him were very far away yeah those who acquaintances of theirs which they could reckon upon being kind to me in great city after a little forced notice which they had grace to take me to the first arrival in town soon grew tired of my holiday visit he says that some of his close relatives you know yeah and his friends actually is few you know uh, they just did not encourage him to come often there he felt very lonely and miserable yeah in the beginning yeah he says that uh, you know he started to visit some of his close relatives but after some time when they you know he started Uh, visiting every sunday or weekends to their homes they got tired of him yeah right they they themselves got tired and they started you know uh, creating an embarrassing situation they seems to them to recur too often though i thought of them few enough and one after another they all failed me he says that you know i often felt like that right and uh, 
you know as you know i started receiving that they became indifferent to me yeah right and then slowly i stopped going to their houses they seems to them to recur too often though i thought of them enough i often thought about them one after other but all of them they failed me okay some of the relatives whom i used to go there i felt myself alone among 600 playmate right so after that what happened he stopped going there and he used to spend his holidays saturdays sundays or weekends with the students in hostel alone okay with 600 stu other students of christ hospital right oh the cruelty of separating a poor lad from his early home state the yearning which i used to have toward it in those unfledged years how in my dream would my native town far in the west come back with its church and trees and faces how i would wake weeping and in the anguish of my heart exclaim upon sweet calm in the wishire yeah now he says that you know how how we felt for the uh, year he says that i remember the longing which i you know looked in my those during those days okay during my early days yeah i felt it's a you know it is a, such a painful to have a send you know separate a child poor child from his home yeah i used to just you know think about those gold days yeah i remember the my, my native town yeah and during those hostel days i used to think about them and i felt that i have come away very far away right my dream would take often me to my native town yeah native native town far in the west okay he says that you know uh, canterbury was you know this uh, christ hospital was in the you know east okay eastern eastern england he says that my native place was very far away okay cal in the west yeah here you know as we know that no charles lamb does not mention the real name of the village people etc etc up a cal in the west is you know metaphorical for the home of charl you know the st coldridge okay Post St. Coldridge or home where now Ottery, okay, Ottery in Saint Mary, yeah, Devonshire, okay, that is the place is Devonshire. So instead of mentioning Ottery in Saint Mary, that is the Devonshire, here he mentions the name Cal in the Wills, okay, Wiltshire, yeah. How how I could wake weeping and in the anguish of my heart exclaim upon sweet Cal in the Wiltshire. He says that I would often wake up more from my dream, yeah, at night. I would not sleep, and I would get up, and I think about my sweet village in the west. Okay, yeah. So actually, Cal in the west, Wiltshire refers to, yeah, Saint Mary de Devonshire. Okay, Devonshire is a town in west of England. Okay, that is a native place of St. Coleridge. To this, to this late hour of my life. i trace impressions left by the recollections of those friendless holidays the long warm days of summer never return but they bring with them a gloom from the haunting memory of those whose day lives when by some strange arrangement were turned out for the long live long day upon our own hand whether we had friends to go or none i remember those bathing excursion to the new river which l recalls with such relish better i think than he can for he was a home seeking lad and did not much care for such water past time how merrily we would sally forth into the field stripped under the first warmth of the sun and wanton like young days in the stream getting us appetite for noon but those of us we were penniless our scanty morning crust long since exhausted had not the means of allaying while the cattle and the birds and the fishes were at feed us about us we had nothing to satisfy our craving the very beauty of the day the exercise of the past time sense of liberty setting a keener edge upon them how faint and languid finally we would return towards nightfall to our desired morsel half rejoicing half reluctant that hours of our uneasy liberty had expired okay now in this para he talks about describes you know during whenever the holidays they used to get okay maybe weekends yeah or summer vacation or maybe one or two days additional holidays how they used to spend their time got it how they used to go to swimming they used to you know swim in the the new river okay new river is a, not a river actually it's a big canal right okay uh, right so the new river and how they used to swim, uh, swim there got it and they used to come back and how they used to get so much tired yeah 
and they don't do, they did not find anything to eat okay after they come back from that yeah so let's look at to this late hour of my life i trace impressions left by recollections of those friendless holidays yeah he says that i always even today i remember with i have a anguished memory sad memory yeah how miserable and lonely my days were right in those time i was alone no one was there yeah i trace impressions left by recollections of those friendless holidays yeah miserable lonely days the long warm sun days of summer never return but they bring with them gloom from the haunting memory of those old day leaves yeah he says that i am thinking about those summer holidays yeah but it does not bring them any good memory but only a haunting memory of those days yeah when by some strange arrangement we were turned out for the long live upon our hands whether we had friends to go or none he says that by some by some strange experience yeah we were somewhat allowed that kind of expedition i remember the day when we had we went out for a enjoyment okay the long warm days of summer never return but they bring with them a gloom of haunting memory of those old day leaves when by strange strange arrangement we were turned out for long live long day upon own hand right he says that by strange arrangement theriyala eppadi oru full day engalukku free ah vittutaanga full day namma poi enjoy pandra mari right namma kaiyil irundhu from morning to evening no one to question unlike in hostel okay that is what right he says that we we were given such option that we could go and enjoy full day you can go and enjoy and uh, no one would question that okay if you look at some of the good schools you know and some colleges in india also you will have that okay right they were they were i remember that in mcc you know there was there was one day weekly full day free out ruanga right in fact even uh, when i was there i remember that uh, one uh, every two every saturday or a fortnight la or saturday vandu full night free a irupanga student and the full night enga venna poi tu varalam seriya ipo and the college ella american model la panna college da okay mcc alla so and the model la and the hostels life la apdi da irukum adha replicate pannirupanga and then vandu full 24 hours enga venna polam night la inga 3 maniki varalam 2 maniki varalam even girls i remember that okay 15 years 16 years ago it was like that i don't know innikku epdi irukuna okay so that was the day he says that annikku friend irukangalo illayo illa thaniya irukangalo they can go that right he says that you know the whole live long days upon our hand whether we had friends to go to or none whether you had a friend or not you had the option you can just you will be free the whole day i remember those yeah now we thinks about those bathing time okay bathing excursion swimming kaga pona excursion to the new river right okay new river is a kind of a you know trench okay canal right from which you know uh, water reaches to london actually okay it you know it's you know it reaches from you know uh, there's a town in uh, you know uh, north of uh, london amwell hertfordshire right hertfordshire amwell amwell lende or canal varum and the canal pair the new river got it it's a kind of a trench okay it's not a river themes natural river illa seriya he says that how we used to go there and swim i remember those bathing excursion to new river which l recalls with such relish l means lamb okay he says with charles lamb recalls with such you know relish with such enjoyment better i think than he can for he was a home seeker lad he says that i should i should think about that avar yoske yoske kudade because he was a home seeking lad right he was home seeking lad he was a what type of boy he was romba romba veetukku poradhu veetla poi rest edukkuradhu andha mari aalu dhaan ya adventure poradhu swimming poradhu andha mari aalu illa avaroda romba naa dhaan yoske nu solrar i think he can for he can sometimes he was a home seeking lad and did not care much for water past past time he says that he was not much interested in going and swimming and such water playing in water okay water past time how merrily we would sally forth into the field strip under the first warmth of the sun he says that how we would enter into the field we will remove our clothes right and we will have our sun you know we will just play in the sun right we will get the sunlight and wanton like young days in the stream yeah and he says that how we would uh, go and enjoy like a like a days yeah days in the stream like a the fish you know days is a type of a fish in the stream like how the young days a fish swims in the stream same way we used to do like that getting us appetite for noon with none of us we were penniless and we would we would swim, swim in the new river so much like as the day swims in the stream yeah the fish which never gets tired we will also swim like that we never get tired but what happened during the process we become so hungry 
right our appetite for noon lunch poi saapradhukaga and pasi irukla we will never be able to satisfy that and all of us are penniless we did not have any money okay yeah had not the means you know and those none of us were penniless right our scanty morning crust longs is exhausted whatever we ate in the morning right the scanty crust right kaanju pona saapada morning la breakfast saapradhu almost it has become exhausted had not the means had not the means of allying yeah right he says that uh, the, the, all these boys we would get so angry after the swim right and we did not have any option of you know satisfy our hunger it is such hint you know he says that you know this our life was become such a miserable yeah right okay and this is the condition of all the boys of the uh, christ hospital and we had not the means of allying while the cattle birds and the fishes were at feed about us and we had nothing to satisfy our craving he says that on the other hand cattle and you know, cattle and birds and fish yella they all had something to eat but we did we did not have anything to eat and satisfy our craving yeah the very beauty of the day the exercise of the past time the sense of liberty setting a keener edge upon them right he says that the you know the way we enjoyed the day right uh, uh, the very beauty of the day exercise of the past time the sense of liberty setting a keener edge upon them yeah and all this will make us you know so gets tired faint and languid right though we enjoyed the beauty of the day the whole time day, day past time exercise yeah like swimming yeah and the freedom and liberty what we got right okay yeah and all this has make us so much tired faint and languid tired finally when we would return to you know when we would return towards nightfall almost at the nightfall in the evening time when we come back to our desired morsel to our desired food morsel na inge food okay right half rejoicing half reluctant right half rejoicing half sandosha happiness yeah rejoicing happiness half reluctant half unwillingly we don't want to come there yeah because again a strict life in the hostel that the hours of our uneasy liberty had expired right without you know we when we used to come back there we feel we felt like that you know almost the liberty which was given to us yeah the partly we were glad okay partly we were happy half happy and half sadness because all the enjoyment which they had the whole day it has passed on right got it whatever the limited freedom they got it's got over yeah the whole day is over and for that day to they have to wait for another one month or two month yeah right got it so he says that all those you know enjoyment the free time they got right everything is over and you know and we felt so sad right got it that's the way they used to spend those free days when they used to get and they used to go and swim in uh, the new river okay right okay then right uh, Uh, okay so with this uh, i will complete yeah